Raider, the Air Force's newest stealth bomber, will be revealed to the public for the first time in early December, Air Force Procurement Chief Andrew Hunter announced Tuesday. Hunter, during a discussion with media at the Air Force Association's Airspace Cyber Conference, disclosed the B-21's rollout will take place somewhere during the first week of December. Other elements of the rollout are still being decided, he added. It will be the first time the Air Force has introduced a new bomber since the B-2 Spirit's November 1988 unveiling at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The B-2's first flight took place in July 1989. The new, Northrop Grumman-made bomber has so far only been spotted in concept images. Its maiden flight is planned to arrive sometime in 2023, a few months after the launch. Northrop stated in a release after Hunter's announcement that the date of the maiden flight will be chosen based on the results of ground tests. There are currently six B-21 test aircraft being constructed at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale factory, the corporation noted in the announcement. Northrop announced in May the first P-21 concluded its first in a series of ground tests at Plant 42. That phase comprised loading calibration tests, aimed to assess the bomber's structural integrity by submitting it to stress, among other testing. The subsequent steps of the B-21's ground tests were to comprise powering up the bomber and testing its subsystems and applying coatings and paint, Northrop claimed in its May statement. Before the B-21's first flight from Plant 42 to Edwards Air Force Base in California, Northrop Grumman will carry out engine runs and low- and high-speed taxi tests. Formal flight testing for the bomber will take undertaken at Edwards. The Air Force previously thought, as late as 2019, that the B-21's first flight would arrive in December 2022, but its timeline increasingly slid. Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota will be the B-21's first main operating base, with Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri and Dias Air Force Base in Texas to follow.